The royal, who attended one of the most colourful events in the royal calendar with other royals like the Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall, and Duke of Cambridge, made a stylish figure in a gorgeous coat dress and matching 560-pound Juliet Botterill hat. For the occasion, she chose a magnificent 8,400-pound G. Collins and son's Tanzanite pendant necklace that she has worn on several occasions. She wore matching 6,100-pound earrings to go with the gorgeous jewel. Mother of three as she arrived at the event, Kate swept her hair out of her face and showcased her natural beauty with a minimal makeup look that included a light foundation layer, smoky brown eyes, and pink lipstick. When she dined with President Obama at Kensington Palace in 2016 and went to the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, RCOG, and the Nursing Now campaign in 2018, she wore her stunning jewel-encrusted earrings and necklace from G. Collins and Sons. Kate chose a pair of blueberry aquazura heels, which cost £810 and added height to her frame. The shoes, which are made in Italy, have a towering design that narrows into a pointed toe and is capped with a shiny heart-shaped chain at the heel. The mother of three greeted Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex with a radiant smile before greeting Prince Charles and Camilla as the senior royals boarded a vehicle to leave the ceremony. She seemed to be cheering up the family, despite reports that her husband Prince William threatened to skip that day's Order of the Garter ceremony if his uncle Prince Andrew was given a public role. The Duchess of Cambridge maintained her positive attitude that day as she attended the Order of the Gather service at Windsor Castle that day alongside Prince Charles, Camilla, and a samba-looking Prince William. Following the service at St George's Chapel, the Duchess of Cornwall was greeted by a happy Kate Middleton, who could be seen laughing with her father-in-law Charles. Princess Anne, the, smiled as she joined her brothers Prince Charles and Prince Edward at the celebration. Earlier that afternoon at Windsor Castle, the Duke of Cambridge and Prince Edward attended the garden. The Countess of Wessex, meanwhile, looked stunning as she arrived at St George's Chapel earlier that day wearing a pink Valentino gown. Prior to the significant event that afternoon, which will see a number of royals in attendance, crowds gathered at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Okay.